Hi everyone, I'm Miss Mary Beth. I'm the Youth Services Librarian at Ingalls Memorial Library and Ringe. And I'm here today for YA Wednesday. And I like YA Wednesday because YA Wednesday is Young Adult Wednesday, where I introduce you to teen books that you maybe have heard of or maybe you haven't heard of or you want to learn a little bit more about. And they're all books that I've chosen, that I've read myself, that I really enjoyed. And I wanted to just share the books that we have at the library with you. So if you enjoy what you, if you're interested in what you hear, or you want to, you think you'd enjoy the book, you can come to the library and check it out. And today I'm excited because the book we're, I'm going to talk about today is The Unwanted. And this is a graphic novel, and it's written by, written and illustrated by Don Brown. And this book is, Don Brown writes graphic novels, and he writes them, they're non-fiction graphic novels. So it's interesting because you're reading and seeing pictures, but you're also learning, which I really like. And he's written two others, Drowned City, about Hurricane Katrina, which we have at the library, and The Great American Dust Bowl. And I, I don't have much experience with graphic novels, and I've always wanted to read more of them. And I read this one, and I was so impressed with it. And this book is impressive on its own, because it won the excellent, Excellence in Young Adult Nonfiction by the American Library Association, which is a big deal. And this medal is for the Robert F. Siebert honor award. So this book has won awards and it's done very well on its own, but I read it myself and I was very impressed. I'll, I'll read the inside of the cover too so you know what it's about. Refugee, the definition, is one who flees, especially to another country, seeking refuge from war, political oppression, religious persecution, or a natural disaster. So this is all about refugees, which is a term that I've heard before, but I don't have a lot of experience with or knowledge of. And this is about Syrian refugees and the Syrian crisis that started in 2011. So this is in our lifetimes. So it's very interesting because this all happened very recently. So the des description is, teenage boys graffiti down with the regime on a wall. This small act is just one of the many sparks that ignite a revolution to overthrow the tyrannical rule of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. But Assad and his supporters are ruthless. Imprisonment, torture, and devastating massacres tear the country apart. Refugees begin, begin to flee Syria in staggering numbers. The unexpected flood of victims overwhelms the neighboring countries. Desperate refugees escape to Europe. Chaos reigns. Resentment heightens as disruption and the cost of aid grow. By 2017, the war rages on, and many nations want to close their borders and turn their backs on the victims. The refugees are the unwanted. So this is obviously a very heavy and intense subject matter, but I didn't really know a lot about this crisis. I've heard of it, I know a little bit, but this book really educated me about it. It has a little map of Syria, and it's surrounded by Iraq, Turkey, Jordan, Saudi Arabia is nearby. And this book is very interesting because he intersperses photos, intense illustrations with facts. And so all of the typewritten words are facts, are things that have happened. And then he has quotes from refugees. So all of the word bubbles are, are actual quotes. And it goes through the beginning of the crisis and how the revolution started and how the Civil War began. And then it details how they escaped on boats, how they escaped to countries in Europe, how countries in Europe didn't want them how they came to live. It's, it's, it's a hard read because it's a very dark subject matter, but I, it was so interesting because it was very educational and I learned a lot. And he has, the author has all of his sources in the back, but he also visited the refugee camps in Greece himself. So there's also a little bit in the back about how he came to write the story, how he came to be interested in it. And then he shows some pictures of actual camps that the refugees live in. And I just would recommend it because it's a hard read, but it's very interesting and it's important because it's happening now and it's relevant. So I just wanted to highlight a graphic novel that you maybe have never read or never thought about reading. And it, ins it sp inspired me to want to read more graphic novels because there are some nonfiction graphic novels, there are some more lighthearted graphic novels, but it's a great genre. 
and there's some beautiful artwork in it in all graphic novels. So I just wanted to introduce you to a graphic novel that we have at the library that has won many awards and you might find interesting. So thanks for joining me for today's YA Wednesday. Have a nice day!